Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Tuesday. It's raining outside. I just got in my office a little early. Um, I have a little time here, and I thought I would work on creating a new stick around puzzle here on the iPad. Stick around. It's by uh, Tony Vincent of learninginhand.com and explain everything here of uh, explaineverything.com. It's a puzzle creation on your iPad and everything. It's been around for a year and a half here. I'm actually going to get it started, so I'm going to just open up the app. And here's my puzzles. Now to get this started, we have three ways to do this, recording, puzzles, and projects. I'm going to go to the plus button here, and I'm going to create a new project. And when it pops up, I'm going to get a couple of different um, templates. There's also a few also available here, like nice update. Um, I'm going to click on blank project. And it's going to be a blank canvas with a drawing pad on the left-hand side. And parts here. So I'm going to do the layers of the earth here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out my layers tray. And if you go through this here, you can see that there's several, several different background layouts. So I'm going to pick a black one here. This is really nice. This little black ground. I'm going to drag it and it's going to make that. And now what happens now is I need some stars. We're in space here. So I'm going to hold on to the key and I'm going to pick my color and my pencil size. I'm going to take pick here and I'm going to do this pretty simple. I'm just going to dot this. I'm just going to dot this until I get several, several stars. I'm going to slide this away. So we're going to make some stars. I'm not going to need like put in here. So we're going to total of stars. Though. So once that's finished, I'm going to go over here. So we, of course, got to build the earth here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shape size, and I'm going to get my shapes here. And so you have circle, square, star, arrows, lines. You can change the colors and fills. So I'm going to click the main one here. Now, I'm not going to pick, uh, of course, yellow because we're out here. So we're going to do the blue earth. So I'm going to click on blue. It's going to change it. I'm going to tap away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big, gigantic circle here. I'm going to take my finger here, and now I can reposition it, move it here. I'm going to make this about that big. Looks like a good thing. It looks good. All right, now for my next trick here is I'm actually going to cut into the planet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to click over here to my drawing tool again. And I'm going to actually do a divide line. So I'm going to pick brown. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the info button. I'm going to tap this. And I'm going to lock this in place. I don't want this moving. And I just dropped my stylus. But as you can see, I'm only moving the background here. So I'm going to hit that again, tap that again, and I'm going to lock that in place. So now nothing moves. I'm pick up my stylus here. By the way, that's my carpeting. I'm going to replace one of these days. So I'm going to go back into my color. I'm going to make sure I think brown. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line, and I'm just basically going to act like I am cutting into an apple here. I'm also going to just carefully, best I can, connect that. And now I'm going to fill it in with a line a little bit. I'm going to pick a little bigger. And now I'm going to just do this. Pretty neat, huh? I should have stand for my iPhone here, but I don't. So there's my first half right there. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just shade this in a little bit more. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch colors. So I'm going to pick yellow. So people are saying, what are we going to pick yellow for? Well, we're in the planet here. So I'm going to pick the mantle here. So I'm going to tap away. And I'm just going to do it here, color this in a bit. Any questions so far, by the way? I know a couple people have been wondering here what I'm doing here. Ooh, that's actually coming up pretty nice. Now keep in mind, you don't have to be a professional artist. I've seen some people do um, puzzles or sketch notes like this, and wow, I mean, I'm sometimes blown away with how talented they are. But uh, as we all know, you don't have to be a talented artist to do this, and plus this is a science experiment. All right, so I've done that. I'm going to switch colors now to orange. So as you can see here, I don't have orange as a thing. Uh, John, the name is Stick Around by Tony Vincent and Morse, and Morse Cook. Now explain everything.com. I'm going to go over the color wheel here, and I'm going to select here, and I'm going to try to get orange. Oh, look at that. I got on the first try. I'm going to tap away, and now I'm going to fill in this part. Oh, look. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah, Stick Around is what it is, John. The app is called Stick Around. It's my favorite app on the iPad. So I'm going to fill that in just a little bit more. You're going to see why we're doing it this way. You're welcome. 
So here's my trick now. See, one thing about is here, if actually you took the earth and you split it open and you try to say how big the core was, it would just be a little smaller than the urn. Just iPad, yeah, it's just on iPad right now. Um, it's been out for a year and a half now. There has been talk about putting it on other devices, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, Tony Vincent, I know, has got another update coming up and he just met with everybody at ISTE about what he's gonna do with it. Um, there's some new features coming, I know, in the next update very shortly. Plus, of course, they're going to be doing for the split screen in iOS 9, which, of course, as we all know, will be getting released very soon. So right now, everybody, look at that. Isn't that cool? So I have my layers of Earth, but I'm missing a couple things here. First of all, I'm going to want to put the continents on here, so I'm going to do that. Change my pain octopusy, leading that up, add my shadow a little bit tap off and then I'm going to do a little bit of coloring here so it looks like I have a little bit now remember this isn't going to be the best here I've said I'm not the best artist yep Tony Vincent love a lot of his work so do that I'm going to color this in you know, it's so funny. Um, I was on Pinterest of all places. I love going to Pinterest and Edgy Clipper. Um, if anybody's ever gone to edgyclipper.net, which is uh, great. It's like Pinterest for teachers and students. And I saw this. There was a lot of thing on, you know, teaching students the crust of the earth. And you can use Play-Doh and everything. There was one here because we actually have a summer camp going on right now. And I really thought about this. But I was like, you know what? I can do here where you get to test all your skills. You know, drawing... Uh, research and everything here and coming up with that and I said you know what I just want to make a stick around puzzle like this I've got some stuff coming up so I want to do that and despite everything the polar ice caps haven't hundred percent melted yet so let's uh, get a little bit of white on the bottom there cell parts would be great on it the yeah there's actually already a template on all the parts of the cell, including parts of the cell I didn't really learn until many years later, and it's amazing too, but it's right in the stick around puzzle, and it has all the layers here, and you actually can retailer it to make different cells. I'll show you a little later here once we're almost done with this. Uh, give me a second here. I'm going to show you how to save and name your project here, which is a very important thing. As you can see, I'm going to do some shading here, give a little bit of different texture to the planet. I always like letting any little shading colors to this because it really just kind of pops up. All right, so I'm going to go over here to Info pop-up info and first of all I'm gonna name the project so I'm gonna pop in this I'm gonna put a name I'm gonna say layers of the planet I'm actually because I've made over 400 stick around puzzles no this is very true this is more than Tony's actually made he's amazed as so is other people um, I don't have a web link here I do this all from scratch but I'm gonna put this uh, course of science so I have science and put string here the layers of the earth the planet I'm gonna do a little autocorrect really quick um, I can put this in for age range this is gonna be a little higher so I'm going up to uh, kindergarten to sixth grade on this one um, I did my description I could do a tutorial and explain everything I'm uh, gonna show you how to do that last um, I have my topic I'm gonna put my name in here so that way you know who made this. So this is all good. Now is this Common Core standards? If I want to, it does do Common Core. I have a lot of math content and you can find or create a tag here for Science or Common Core. This is designed to work over it. Oh yeah, and actually you can use Edpuzzle along with Stick Around. I'll tell you how to do that a little later. I'm gonna save my project because one thing is I didn't know I'd do all this work and then lose my project. So I'm gonna give it a minute to save. There it is. I also just recently did one because, as we know, the 15th of July is coming up soon and New Horizons. So I actually did one on Pluto and all its moons. I'm going to be updating that soon. But it's all saved. So we're going to go to Layers of Earth. So here's the next trick. So I'm going to go back to my background, make sure everything's looking great. And actually, I had a little, made a little mistake over here. I'm going to hit my, um, I'm going to go back over here and I'm actually going to make a little comment. So I thought that was kind of cool. I made this little mistake. Um, I was a big fan of reading Rainbow growing up. I uh, still am to this day. And what happened is um, LeVar Burton was doing a little stuff. And this really did happen on camera. But he accidentally spilled some of his ink on it. And he made um, kind of a meteor shower kind of thing. There we go. 
And then I'm going to put in a moon. So I'm going to select gray. I'm going to put the moon in here. There's the moon. I'm going to give it a couple of uh, craters here. Don't judge me on this. As you can see, if I made a mistake, that looks more like a chocolate chip cookie, I can go right here to the back button and it will take away my little mistakes. Still looks like a cookie. Mm, cookie. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna layer the different parts here. So this is all done. I'm gonna go now to the next part, which is stickers. Now this is what's so cool about stickers. You can do three types. You can do text, you can do pictures, you can do pictures with text and drawing, like sketches similar to this here. I'm actually just gonna go simple today. I'm gonna to pick text, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, I think that's it. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap this twice. I'm sorry, tap it once. Being picky, tap it twice again, there we go. So I'm just gonna say surface. Ooh, got a lot of hearts on that, thank you. Now this is what's cool. So I can do this, I'm gonna hit the info button and I can actually do a recording or a, add a link or add an arrow. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add an arrow first. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit the arrow and I'm gonna pull the arrow over here so it makes sure it fixes that right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color. So I'm gonna hit the orange and I'm gonna turn it to green. Isn't that pretty cool? And the next one is I'm gonna do the crust. So I'm gonna double tap that, crust. And I'm gonna make that black. Hit the arrow button. Put that one right there. Hit the eye button right there. And next, of course, I'm going to do the mantle. So the man. Make sure I'm spelling this right. I actually have my dictionary in front of me just to be on the safe side. I don't feel like misspelling today, even though there's autocorrect on this. And I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna fool some people here. I'm gonna color code these a little differently. I like to do this to my students just to make sure they're paying attention. And I can reposition that over like that. And now we're going to do the outer core. Outer core. I always remember if it's not one kind of thing, two R's. I know, I'm a doc student. I still don't remember that. Go figure, right? Uh, anyhow, so I'm going to make that one green too. I'm going to put in my arrow. Put that right there. Looking good, so I got one more to do. So we're gonna put this right there. I'm gonna double tap it. I'm gonna call this, of course, the inner core. As you can tell, I love doing this. Um, anyhow, hit that. I'm gonna beat you. If you're wondering why there's a glitch there, it's because I've got so much memory being used right now. And as you can see, I made a mistake right here. My arrow is lost to things. So if I hit the arrow again, it makes it favor. Hit it again, I can reposition it. So I can do that. All right, hit the eye. So I've got my arrows ready for the layers of the earth. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put the answer key. So I'm gonna hit the answer key. Now you have a choice here. You can either do circle, mix an oval, square it, draw it, delete them, multi-delete it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, first of all, reposition my arrows so they are correct here. And now what I'm gonna do is once I've done this, I am now gonna circle my answer. Now the trick is, when you do your answers, is not to get the other stickers caught in there unless they're gonna be part of that answer too, because if you can, it can cause confusion and you get them wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this in here, and I use the arrow, and I'm gonna just draw that. Look at that. I'm gonna do the same for the crust. I'm gonna do my best not to get that mixed in. Position that. There we go, so does it confirm. And now the mantle is going to be a lot easier because I can just do it that way. So I'm going to do that. Reposition this so it takes the answer. And now I'm going to do the outer core. Now the reason why I do these answers is because I want students to think about that. And what's so great about this, I can actually have the answer key show so that way they can redo it. And of course now the easiest one, of course, I'm going to do is the inner core because I can draw around this whole thing. All right. So I have my answers all set up. So now I got to test how this is going to work. So I'm going to hit the play button. And now I have my sticker tray for answers. So what I do is I just drag them out 
do the inner core, do the cross, do the surface, and of course my favorite, the mantle. And then if I'm all good, I hit the check button. Oop, right here, three are out of the wrong sequence. So I have two wrong, two right. So that means I gotta mean this one go up a little higher. I'm gonna bring the mantle down a little bit more. Check it again. I've still got the crust messed up. And this is why I do this because this way I can do it. Yes, these actually will export out to um, email, Google Drive, Box, um, Dropbox, uh, anything. You can put them in copy either two and then they can be downloaded straight with any device that has iPad on it. So it's really good. So I'm gonna check again. Still having a problem here. As you can see, it's my because of my crust, where I put the crust at. So my answer's a little messed up. See? And I just... Whoa. So now what I can do is I'll put in my name. Ryan. I'm going to save this to my photos. Yes, you can upload this right to Google Classroom. They can download it as an assignment, a review, or exit ticket right onto their iPad. So it works great there. Now, as you can see, I want to redo this a little bit because, as you can see, my answer is not quite right here because this did not come out right. It took me forever to do the crust, so I'm going to hit the answer here. I'm going to tap this. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to redo the crust answer. I'm going to get a little bit more of it so that way it's good. And then I'm just going to reposition it. And then I'm going to go back to info. And all I'm going to do is highlight stickers, white check thing. I can do all or does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the answer key modes. So I'm going to make that visible. So that way it's all good to go. All right, once this is finished, I'm going to hit projects. I'm going to hit save. And now it's ready to go. Now the truth is this is a finished product. Now if I want to export it as a puzzle, all I have to do is hit the select button, hit this button here, and then I hit this the share row. And here it goes. It'll say open up in another app, save it to WebDAV, Google Drive, email, put it out to explain everything, or put it in my Dropbox. So remember how I said earlier I was going to do that with explain everything? So I'm going to finish that up. I'm going to hit open and explain everything. It's going to take a second. It's going to export it out to explain everything and open a brand new project. By the way, John, thank you for sticking on. I know everybody else kind of checked out here. They got the basics of this and left, even though my tutorial is not 100% done. The reason I got off Periscope for a while is I was really not having a lot of people come to these, and I was not having a lot of people retain in these. So that kind of led to me, like, why am I doing this when I do the tutorials? Anyhow, my computer and my iPad and my phone and my wife's uh, PC, Windows computer, and nobody's going to watch Periscope, so I might as not watch, waste my time. So... Right now it's going to take a second to open up into that and I'm going to basically show how this is going to work. And then I will save the final product and it'll be it. And I'm actually going to post this on my Twitter and uh, blog here for Dice Up the Classroom and it'll be finished. This is taking way too long. Usually it's much faster than this. Of course I have a lot of memory on this. As you can see, I just recently did one of the Wolf Volcano for my NASA photos. I do if recipe. I'm talking about if this week here. I'm doing a big cast on how I'm doing if this, then this, and how the shortcuts work from iPad to Android. Yeah, that's exactly. I'm, and I actually know Rashawn. I actually talked to Rashawn quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm actually uh, part of the... Um, consultant board for explain everything, messing around with things. Um, I have a lot of fun with him. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, they are extremely cool guys. They're very, very nice guys, and we always, I always, we always joke who's the better artist on there, and they say I've improved here, but I said no, no, I'm not no Jack Kirby yet here. So, all right, well, this is taking forever, so I'm just going to show you really quick. So I would go into explain everything. I'm going to open up explain everything. By the way, as you know, explain everything is going to a major update in the next week or two here to 3.0. It's going to have incredible abilities and whatnot. So I have my file. Basically, what I do is I would create a new file. And you have to save it as an XL file. Because once you save it as an XL file, you're able to go right into explain everything. And, of course, add the attachment. I'm going to close this off really quick since we're having a jam here. I was doing some other tutorials earlier. Um, so I'm going to go back and explain everything. I mean, to stick around. So once you save your vidcast... Oh, it works great on iPhone. Yeah, it works great on iPhone. So what I would do then is I would tap back on the project. I go right here to say Add Tutorial, and all you do is you hit the plus button right there. 
there it is. It's an XPL file. And all I do is would save and attach this, and there'd be a little introduction. Another thing you can do, you can also do an audio recording. So I'm going to hit an audio really quick. This is a stick around puzzle about the layers of the Earth. Do you know the layers of the Earth and where they fall in order if you could cut the planet in half and look at it? So now my students have this. You also can update, you can also add to it if you want to. If I hit the plus button here, you actually can go into other apps and put in uh, recordings here. So you can actually do music. So you could have actually playlists and everything else. I haven't used it very much, but I did a kind of fun shake it up by, uh, <laughs> by Taylor Swift about uh, earthquakes and I think the kids were more having more fun listening to the music even though it was like little stuff on there um, I'm not going to go there Casey Bell's going to yell at me later so once this is all fun um, you finish it all up um, you do the main export here as a finished puzzle so you hit the export button and it'll say okay what do you want to do you want to say a solution I say no I want them to know it and I just hit the export button and it's going to create the puzzle as a final puzzle it's all finished, so I'm going to go back to my projects. I'm going to save this just to be on the safe side because I don't want anything to get lost. As we all know, I just worked on this for the last 15 minutes. So I go to Puzzles, and there it is. And as you can see, there's a sticker piece, like a peel, saying that's a finished puzzle. And here's several other ones I've done for school, including Amelia Bedelia's How to Make a Bacon Apple Tie. Oh, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So you can import like science equipment, create equipment. Yes, you actually can draw them too. There is a fantastic one where a student drew the whole parts of a volcano from lava from scratch and then labeled them all. It was fantastic. But yeah, you can import pictures. You can actually do that. Um, I do know there might be a gift or small video ability coming in a future update. That's really cool. Um, I've done one thing here. I did one where we were teaching students how to do tallies. I did one about describing teachers. So they would have to do adjectives and what how they describe their kindergarten teachers. We did parts of the fly. I hooked it up into a learning lesson in ThingLink. Um, I did Know Your 3D Shapes, which was a lot of fun. Uh, map to Reading. What else have I done here? Uh, oh, by the way, here's the cell one, by the way. There, this is the, It's already built into Explain Everything, but it's all there. I'll actually, oops, I clicked on Planets. Let me cancel out of that. But let me click on Cell Biology, and I will show you. See, look at that. It has all the major parts. Oh, yeah. Um, Recess Duty, Clay Rolson, who is on there, Recess Duty, and Twitter. He has used this for his psychology, for parts of the brain and everything. Um, great app smash. Take 3D Brain, take a snapshot of it as a main one, and then import it right into the pictures, into Stick Around, and then go right from there. Yeah. So I've also done telling uh, time with clocks. I actually did one right here where we did dominoes. I took pictures of individual dominoes and students then had to put them in the order on a clock. And then I had a, I gave them a time. So then they had to do the time. I did all that from scratch. I did their telling time. I did know your SMAR model apps, which was a lot of fun. Uh, grow your acronyms. Yeah, I've, I've, done, I've done over 400 stick around puzzles. I've done more than Tony Vincent himself. So this is officially done. I'm going to export this out into my Google Drive. I'm going to post this later. So I'm going to hit my select button, hit it. I'm going to hit the share I'm going to put it right in the Google Drive. Yeah, I know. What can I say? It's my favorite one. So I'm going to do that. It's going to ask me to. I'm just going to hit the export button, and it'll just go. Thank you. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, here was the little example I was using as a test on my computer. Uh, sometimes, especially because, you know, we're doing about ditch that textbook, but it's not hard to make the layers of the earth. And as you said, I did a pretty simple one right there, too. So I had a lot of fun there. So I'm going to post this in a little bit right here on Dice Up the Classroom. There's my website, Dice Up the Classroom, classroomsnextlevel.wordpress.com. I'm hoping to get the domain name here eventually because... As we all know, I don't have the money because I just bought a new refrigerator. So, And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to export this puzzle out as an email. So I'm going to hit it. I'm going to say hit it as an email because I do not want to lose my puzzle. I'm just going to name it Earth. And as you can see, here's the email. There's the download link if you wanted to get the app. And then there's the crunch thing ready to go. I'm just going to put my email and we're good to go. You have not heard of this app. Really, it has been around for two years. Then again, over at Mobile uh, 2015, Tony was doing for speed app and he was using it because it was his own app. And a lot of people had kind of heard about it and didn't really know a lot about it. So, yeah. It's great. It's $2.99. It's $1.49 VPPP. It's not going up in price anytime soon. I'm like, explain everything, which is going to go to $3.99 pretty soon. It was actually free for its anniversary, which was December 14th. So... All right, so I've sent the email to it and everything. I'm going to post this up on YouTube if anybody wants to make their own tutorial, and I'll have it right here live on the blog. So, John and whoever was on here later, thank you for watching, and I'll see everybody later. Have a great day.